The warthog can cope with most of the terrain Helmand Province has to offer. And unlike wheeled protected mobility vehicles, they don't have to stick to roads and risk known vulnerable areas. We started off from Viking, which is a bit smaller, maybe a bit more mobile, but the protection this thing offers uh, feel a lot safer inside. Um, and also the mobility that it gives us across country, um, yeah, we're generally very impressive to be honest. Here, Badger Troop has been called in to assist in the search for someone seen with a weapon in a compound the other side of this tree line. Oh, look at that, hold it there. Off-roading can cause its own problems, though. These farmers are angry their land has been damaged by the vehicles and want compensation. Of course, we compensate where damage has been caused, and it allows us actually to work out who are bona fide farmers uh, and who the locals are, what the, the local hierarchy is. Uh, and it gives them quite a, a positive experience when they, when they can then come forward to the PBs and deal with us. The Warthog is designed to carry troops, but these vehicles are currently being used to offer fire support to soldiers on the ground. One of the key advantages of a vehicle like the Warthog, somewhere like this in the Babaji region of Helmand Province, is that it's possible to create a safe area by surrounding uh, troops with the Warthog so that they can work in safety while still out on operations in what really is Taliban held ground. Like anything brand new, they're not without their problems though. Inevitably there are bits and pieces which we're sort of, uh, uh, which we're sort of uh, managing uh, out here in theatre. But to be honest, we've not had to deal with any significant issues that we feared we might have when this vehicle has gone from inception to delivery in under two years. Teething troubles aside, the warthogs afford a new degree of manoeuvre to troops fighting for some of the most dangerous parts of Helmand province. Will Inglis, Forces News, Babaji.